50 police officers drawn from the seven northwest states in Nigeria are here in Kano to receive adequate training ahead of the 2023 general elections. The Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba, who was represented by the Assistant Inspector General of Police in charge of Zone 1, Sadiq Bellu, said the officers would be trained on various techniques of managing security challenges to enable the country to conduct credible elections. I believe that this training will prepare the mind of police officers on how to manage security challenges before, during, and after 2023 general elections in order to ensure the peaceful and credible elections in Nigeria. When you take a look at the performance of police personnel during the recently concluded AGT and Oshin election, you will agree with me that there is hope for the future. Former Inspector General of Police Solomon Arasi and the resident electoral commissioner of INEC, Kano State, Professor Riz Kwashew, both expressed confidence that the election would hold despite the current security challenges in the country. They both agreed to work in synergy to ensure a peaceful election. The, the, yes, it is true that the police is the lead agency, but we, we don't work in a vacuum. We work in cooperation with other security agencies, uh, the military, the immigration, the prisons. So we want to you know, develop a template where our working arrangement will be seamless. And uh, uh, the IG is taking the initiative because um, we still have about six months to the elections, but the earlier we are able to do it, the better. Security issues and the threats and risks that may be encountered in preparation for the 2023 general election, the commission is partnering and is actively participating in this workshop so that we can all be on one page and we can think thoroughly about the issues that need to be attended to before the 2020. The theme of the workshop is the 2023 general elections enhancing national security capacity for a secure and credible electoral process in Nigeria. Ayo Adinaye, AIT News Kanu.